You're watching The Curse of Oak Island in Russia, and we're recapping the Season 11 episode, Tea Time. So what happened? Last week's treasures are analyzed. The ancient coin is identified as an English penny from the 1770s. They bring the glass beads to a Halifax glass bead expert, because that's a thing. He identifies them as being Venetian beads from 1500 to 1650. How does he know this? Because they have red and blue, which apparently are bead colors whose creation was only known to ancient Venetians. Well, and everyone on Etsy. New cord drilling finds a PVC pipe because they hit a previous borehole. Moving on. The team is then surprised to find that exploratory cord drilling at the bottom of the wooden garden shaft discovers wood. <laughs> Moving on. And some swamp digging discovers a leather boot heel and some broken pottery bits. The bits are identified as ancient Chinese pottery from Portuguese Templars. Did you follow that? And they are so precious and valuable, they let Billy continually recover these delicate artifacts with his giant excavator. I'm not sure why the team hasn't put these finds into one theory. It seems perfectly logical to me that a Templar knight, in order to hide his treasure-carrying pottery, stumped the vessels into bits to better hide them in the swamp. Of course, it's also possible that a Templar knight, clad in leather boots, was enjoying a cup of tea along the ocean when a pair of prehistoric ape men suddenly appeared, killing the knight, smashing the tea set, and hence losing the secret of the treasure for all time. Okay, moving on. Tune in next time when it's revealed that Aladdin's cave once held a vast sum of teas bound for the Mediterranean. Unfortunately, it was empty. So you can pretty much draw anything with AI these days. I'm quite the artist. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe, watch the old episodes, leave a comment below, and I'll be back again next week.